records for the day when it came yeah. to temperatures. Yeah, I mean, you think of mid-December, think, ooh, cool. Yeah. No, it was 59 degrees yeah. today in PDX. Close to 60 degrees at PDX today as so, a high. So, and another record, too. Troutdale was up to 58. We also had a daytime rainfall record that was in Eugene. Oh, that's pretty incredible. Yeah, yeah. so atmospheric rivers, they do a lot for us. Some good, some bad, depending on how you like it. Now we'll see some cooler temperatures that move into our region at the end of the week. But until then, a little bit of a roller coaster ride with our temperatures and with those snow levels. For all of you skiers and boarders, I know you're just anxious for things to get cold. So we're going to tell you when to expect that. Uh, Vancouver right now, 46 degrees, dew point 43. Wind is calm. Sunrise time, 746. Seaside, still occasionally some breezes coming through, about 10 to 15 miles per hour, mostly out of the southwest. We're expecting uh, a few light showers to perhaps linger for the next couple of hours, but overall we're in a drying trend at least for a little while. <laughs> Today's highs, there you go. There was our record, Portland 59 degrees. Normal high is 45. At the coast, we were in the mid-50s. Hood River got up to 52 for a high. Also, the Dalles broke a record, hitting 56 rainfall today. Eugene had an inch and a half, breaking an old record of an inch and a quarter. PDX, we came up with eight-tenths of an inch since midnight. Doppler radar showing us again mostly dry, just a few areas where we're seeing a few lingering showers, especially along the west-facing slopes of the Cascades in Washington, where a winter weather advisory is still in effect, at least for the next two hours. Now, satellite and radar imagery, what are we seeing? Here's the big picture, still tapping into that subtropical air mass. So we'll be seeing another surge of moisture. And yes, strong winds once again returning to the coastline. That is why a high wind watch goes into effect starting early in the morning, Thursday, lasting through the afternoon. Again, that's our coastline up and down through Washington State. Also, a winter weather advisory we were just telling you about. That's only going to remain in effect until about 1 o'clock in the morning. Now, wind gust forecast. Talking about those strong winds at the coast. So when can we expect to see them? We get through Wednesday uh, pretty unscathed until we get to Wednesday about 7, 8, 9 o'clock. And by 11 o'clock, we could be seeing wind gusts once again out of the south. Anywhere from 40 to 50 miles per hour. Newport, Astoria, anywhere from 35 to 45 miles per hour. How much rain are we going to see, though, between now and the weekend? Part of the weekend, yes, will be dry, but not the entire weekend. Through Sunday, we're expecting perhaps another inch of rain in Portland, Astoria, and all the way down to Newport, perhaps an inch and a half to two inches. Now, let's take a look at our snow totals. Now, keep in mind, this is a high-resolution, short-term model. So we're going to take it out all the way through Wednesday night, early Thursday morning, and this is all we get, <laughs> maybe one to three inches at best. And that's going to be elevations above 5,500 feet because of those warmer temperatures associated with that next system that we just showed you on the map. We're going to have to wait till we get past Thursday to get nice and cold. And when I say nice and cold, now I'm talking about dropping those snow levels down to about 2,000 feet by Friday. So pretty exciting stuff there. As long as we can just keep it out of the metro, I think everybody's relatively happy. <laughs> Seven day forecast looks like this. And look at those daytime highs over the weekend, only in the mid 40s. So quite a difference compared to today. All right, Natasha, you had a busy day today. Oh, huh? yeah. All right. Well, still ahead here on the